Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And I'm out here on the back of the Pathfinder School property with my Jeep today. And what I'm going to do is I've got a new product that I want to try out. And I've not done an unboxing and all that stuff. I've already got the stuff put into my Jeep and stowed, but I haven't really used the system yet. So we're kind of going to get a first look at this thing together. Now, I've used the receiver system by Hammock Adventure Systems on the back of my Jeep on a video prior to this to be able to plug it into your receiver and hang your hammock off the back of your Jeep. They now make a tarp system to go over the top of that hammock. It's integrated into the stand. And I wanted to kind of go over that with you today and see how it works out for my Jeep. So I thought we'd do that together. Stay with me. Now, this framing system for the receiver of your Jeep or your vehicle consists of a main section here that goes into the receiver. And then you have four poles that go inside this and interlock together to hang your hammock off of. And one of those poles on each side already has a connection point for your carabiner. So let's get that set up first and then we'll go from there. What I really like about this system is the speed of setup. If you are boondocking or you just want to camp somewhere for the night really quick, if you've already got the main portion of this in your receiver and you're traveling that way, because you're not pulling a trailer, if I'm not pulling my overlanding trailer, things like that, then I can leave that in the receiver and it's literally plugging four poles into that thing and it's ready to hang a hammock. The downfall of this system has always been there's really no tarp to go over top of it. So I'm hoping Hammock Adventure Systems has solved that problem. We're going to try that today. What I also like about this thing is that you can pull the hammock to one side, just unhook it from one side, hook both hooks to the other side, and have full access to the back of your vehicle during the day. Just flip it up at night, hang the hammock out, get in and go. I'm hoping that this tarp is going to give us cover underneath so that we can do things like cook food, work around the back of the vehicle when I'm fishing, things like that. And then again, close it up, slide the hammock over, ready to rock and roll for the night. All right, so the components for this system are really simple. You've got a tarp bag here. I assume there are probably some stakes in here. I've never opened this yet. We're gonna do it for the first time today. You've got a suction cup here that you can place on the vehicle to attach your tarp. You have two extension poles here that go in the ends of these bigger poles that are where your tarp grommets connect to. And there's adjustments on here with sliders, depending on how taut you want that tarp to make it fit correctly, depending on how much your hammock is pulling, because there is a little bit of give in these main poles. And then you have a main support pole here that is adjustable. And this looks just exactly like a green elephant pole, which are the main poles I carry all the time. If I'm carrying poles for any other type of setup, I use green elephant poles. And this is definitely the same exact design as a green elephant pole. So I know this thing is quality. Now, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open this tarp and kind of see what kind of configuration we have here. And I can already tell by opening this bag that there are stakes and ropes in this bag tucked inside right there. We'll just drop those right in this recess, my mountain hatch tailgate cover here, because this thing, it's like a large piece of Delron or ABS of some kind that basically has a couple of recess points put in it so that you have a nice flat surface on your tailgate for cooking, processing, game, coffee in the morning, all those types of things that makes it really, really easy. And it gives you places to put things so they don't slide off or get bumped. Now, let's look at this tarp for a minute here. See what we got. Might have fun getting that back in the bag. That's a pretty tight fit. Again, Adventure Hammock Systems is the name of this company that makes this. So I'm going to throw this tarp out here and kind of see what configuration it looks like it needs to go in. And we'll go from there. Okay, so this is obviously set up to be a diamond configuration. It's a square tarp made to be set up on a diamond. And you have this device that goes on some surface of the vehicle on the top that's actually a suction cup that locks it down and you have a tab here to connect to. Now, what I would probably do is I would carry something or attach something to this tarp so that I can just shove that loop through and toggle that thing off just like this so it can't pull back through the loop. And I would call that awesome. 
So I'll figure something out with that later. For now, I'll just grab something out of my Jeep to stick in there as a toggle. Now what I'm gonna do while I'm trying to figure this out is I'm gonna take these two poles and again, they go in the ends of these, just like this. And they have an adjustment on them to get that tarp the right tension here. But I wanna put the center of the tarp on first and then figure out how far back I need to go on top of the Jeep with that suction cup and go from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop this over the top of this grommet, just like that. Go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so it's already a really tight fit. In fact, it doesn't reach. But now I'm going to adjust these stops so that they're even on the poles to begin with to shorten this length. It's coming out the front end. Still got a ways to go yet. There we go. All right, we'll just get those evened up. And this is just more for symmetry than anything else to get those stops even on the poles. Okay, so minimal adjustment there to get myself a nice tight peak. Now I've got the two flaps, obviously, one of which comes out here over the hammock, the other one that goes back over the vehicle. And now I need to find out where I need to attach that. All right, so initially I've just hooked that thing up to the top of my Jeep right behind the first load bar here on top and just shoved the tent stake in there for right now, toggled it in like I said I was going to, and shoved the tent stake in there and locked it down. Okay, so we've got the tarp guide out now. Unfortunately for me, what I did was I chose a spot that's that there's a lot of gravel. The tent stakes don't drive very well in gravel. However, I improvised. Let's talk about that. I took my ball hitch, which is probably 25 or 30 pounds because it's a solid block of steel and I just hooked up to one of the balls here just like this and ran that dude out to tighten it up if I wanted to I could put a loop in that but for sake of purpose now it's not going to go anywhere all right so you can see where we're at here that's really a pretty massive amount of coverage over top of that jeep with this tarp in fact I'm really impressed with it to be honest with you I'm gonna hang the hammock on here in a minute. We'll see what that looks like. But for now, if I need a place to work out of the weather, on my tailgate, things like that, which usually I do when I'm overlanding or when I'm camping out of my Jeep, I generally work right here off the tailgate with whatever I'm doing. And now that I've got this new mountain hatch cover on my tailgate, it's the perfect setup. So let's get a hammock under here and see what that looks like so you can see that as well. But this tarp system is perfect for this Jeep. Now, as far as hanging our hammock goes, real simple. Connect the carabiner. Open that bad boy up. Start pulling it to the other side. When I get to the other side, all I'm gonna do is clip it in. I've got tree straps in this bag, so I'm just gonna kinda let them sit in there and cinch them up. It's the same hammock I use no matter what I'm doing ready to go now again where i think this system really shines if i want to work under here all i got to do is unhook one side take it over and hook it to the other side boom everything's out of the way i can work cook do whatever i want to do come back throw the hammock back across go to bed that night doesn't get any better than that now you might ask yourself what about weather coming in well i took it off the top of the jeep Dropped it right down here. And all I do is just stake it back here on the ground. And the frame, remember, is in the middle of the tarp. So I've given myself a wing here. All I have to do is drop the front corner down. And I've got that typical diamond shape with two wings to protect me from the weather. And one thing I'll say here in closing is I'm a huge fan of this deck system. I mean, it allows me to carry everything I need in one nice, neat, tidy package. I've got some extra poles in here for tarps, things like that. I've got my dog tie out right here. This is basically the camping side of things. So it makes it very easy for me to just slide poles in and not have to worry about putting them into a case.
I could throw a pair of camp shoes in there easy enough. And then of course there's a bag for all those poles that I don't even really use, but I keep it in there anyway. Boom, one and done, ready to rock. All right, so I'm gonna get this thing torn down and put away, guys. I just wanna tell you that I appreciate you joining me for this video today. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks. Thanks.